Hello guys and welcome to When in Halifax and today we will discuss about the steps on how AIPP works. So this is actually our fourth video on Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program series. If this is your first time to watch our video, our series, I strongly suggest to watch the first three video because on that video I, I discuss about the overview the three different programs under the AIPP. So anyway, it will be easier for you to uh, watch those videos because I created a link on the description below. Click the description below and I will send the video directly to your messenger. So it's easy for you to review the three video. So anyway, now we will discuss the step by step on how AIPP works. So the first one is to get a job offer. The, AI, the AIPP or Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program, you need to find an employer that will give you an employment, that will give you a job offer. And always remember, this employer should be in a list, in the list of designated employer. On the next video, I'm going to discuss what is a designated employer, how to be a designated employer, and where to get a designated employer. So anyway, let's assume that you get your job offer from a designated employer. So what will be the next? So the employer will give you a job offer form, which is the IMM 5650. And then there will be a confirmation of designation. So let's imagine, guys, that you applied online and the employer interviewed you through online. The next step is that the employer will send you a copy of a job offer, which is the, the form is IMM 5650. And then um, the employer will give you a confirmation of designation. So what will be the next? The next is you need to contact a settlement service provider or and then this settlement service provider on the end of this video I'm going to explain to you what is a, set, a settlement service provider where you can find those uh, settlement service provider and I'll show you a list a list of settlement service provider per province so anyway guys so once you get once you got a uh, job offer confirmation designation uh, confirmation of designation you will send these two forms to the settlement service provider. So uh, the settlement so settlement service provider will create you a settlement plan. So once you got the settlement plan, you need to send it back to your employer. So your as um, this is candidate you, you will send a copy of the settlement plan. So on this part, you get a job offer. Your employer give you a copy of the uh, give you a copy of the job offer and give you the confirmation and designation. These two forms, these two documents, the completed job form, the confirmation designation. You need these two to uh, to be eligible on settlement to avail a, ser a settlement service provider. So the settlement service provider will going to communicate to you and create a settlement plan for you and your family. So once the settlement plan is done, you need to send it to your employer. So what will happen now? So you send a settlement plan to your employer. The employer now will complete the provincial endorsement application. So uh, once this provincial endorsement application is completed, he or she need to send it to the province. Okay. So the province now, see, it, let's imagine that the, the endorsement application package is received by the province. The province now will review and approve the endorsement application. So once approved, you will get another letter which is the endorsement letter. So this endorsement letter, you need this to complete your permanent resident 
through the IRCC or the uh, uh, the Canada.ca. So you need to send this IRCC including the endorsement letter and other documents. So in less than six months, in less than six months uh, of process and application, you can now bring your family to Canada under permanent resident visa. So that's the step by step process of Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. But it's always remember, it's very important that you know what program you belong. If you are in the intermediate or you are in a high skill or you are in, uh, you are in the international graduate. That's why I strongly advise for you to you to watch the first three videos that I made. So anyway, the next topic is the settlement service provider. Where can I get a settlement service provider? So the settlement service provider, you can get the list of settlement service provider on Canada.ca. Just type Canada.ca slash Atlantic Dutch Immigration and you can find the link of settlement service. But if you find it difficult, I created a list, list of settlement per province. So here in Nova Scotia, I listed several here. Africa Diaspora Association, Antagonist Women Resource Center, and they are located in Antagonist, and then Feder Federation Academia de Logo Eco. It's a French only. They are located in Dartmouth. Immigration Service Association of Nova Scotia or ISANS. Uh, they are located at Mumford Halifax, New Dawn Enterprise on Cape Breton. And then in Halifax Bayers Road is the YMCA of Greater Halifax and Dartmouth. So these are the list of settlement service provider that you can connect once you get the two documents from your employer, which is the job offer and a designation letter. And in New Brunswick, they have several settlement service provider too. They have the Central, the, it's a French another French, and the next is the Mira, Miramichi Regional Multicultural Association, Multicultural Association Shall Region Incorporated, Multicultural of Carlinton County, and Multicultural Association of Charlotte, Charlotte County, Multicultural Association of Charlotte County, Association of Federecton, Multicultural Association of Greater Mocton Area, Northwest Resource Center for Newcomers Incorporated, and Restig Multicultural Asso Ar Association, St. John Newcomer Center, and then YMCA Greater of St. John. So, in PEI or the Prince Edward Island, there are two, which is another French Cooperative Integration Frontier, there it's uh, in Prince Edward, and PEI Association of Newcomers to Canada. And then Newfoundland, which is the Association of New Canadians and another French, Federation des Fronos de Terra Nova de Labrador. So those are the French. But anyway, guys, those are the least, least, least of settlement service provider in Atlantic provinces. So um, since I know ISANS, um, I know some people uh, working in ISANS. Um, and ISANS is very close to Halifax. Uh, they have two locations here. They have the Bayers Road ISANS. And then there's another ISANS in uh, Mumford. But the main office is in the Mumford. So for me, it's very important that you connect to the service provider. You can check their website actually. So anyway, let's go to ISANS step by step. So again, let's imagine that you got... A service uh, you get a job offer you ready on in your hand you already have your job offer and you have your designation letter so what will be the next the next step is you need to connect to a settlement uh, a settlement service provider so one of the example that I uh, read from the list is ISANS so here's the step by step uh, that you can find actually this information you can find it on their website but step by step 
according to ISANS. So once you get the job offer uh, from a designated employer, the second step is you need a pre-endorsement need assessment settle plan, uh, settlement plan. So you need the two documents which is already discussed, the IMM 5650 in your designation letter. Step three, you need to visit the, the official website which is the aipp.isans.ca. So you need to sign up or register on the website. It's free. So you just need to fill up all the, uh, the informations and you need to upload the eligibility document which is again the IMM 5650 or the job offer and the de designation letter. Step four is the ISANS will intake a counselor contact. So the ISANS intake counselor contact, you will be further instruction to book a need assessment se uh, session. So it means that one of the staff of ISANS will communicate to you to create a settlement. So on the step five, the ISANS intake council will give you the settlement plan. So this is the this is what you need from the settlement service provider, which is the settlement plan. So once you have the settlement plan, you need to communicate again to your employer to give it to uh, to give give a, uh, you will need to give an, um, a copy of the settlement plan to your employer. So that's the step by step process of the Atlantic Immigration Pilot Program. I hope you find it helpful and I hope I able to explain it well. If you have question, please don't hesitate to comment your question on our the comment section. And of course, please click the link below if you want to be notified to your messenger. If you want to send this video on your messenger, click the link below because I put a link and then I'll send all the videos that I made through your messenger so that you can watch it anytime, anywhere. So on the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you on what is a designated employer and how to find a designated employer in every Atlantic provinces. Again, what are the four provinces or uh, what are the four Atlantic provinces of Atlantic? There's a Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, PEI, Newfoundland. So th those are the four Atlantic provinces. So what I'm going to do in the next video, I'm going to share to you on how to find a designated employer and then how to find a job based from that list. See you again, guys, on our next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.